Merry Meat Witches! Today we're going to do a couple witchy crafts to continue getting into the Halloween spirit. These are not specifically Halloween crafts, although I did pick up one in the Halloween section of Michael's, but they are but they are witchy crafts and I'm so excited for them. First, before we get started, look at this statue. I got this Aphrodite statue at my local witchcraft store and it's like my favorite. It's my favorite. I um have seen some like Birth of Venus statues. They tend to all be the same. And um I've seen some on Etsy that were like $15, $20. And then my uh, one of my other local witchcraft stores had the same one for forty dollars. It was like, are you kidding me? And I've like, I've been like, it's nice, but do I really want it? First of all, it's the birth of Venus and not Aphrodite. And I know Venus is the Roman equivalent of Aphrodite, but they're just like a slight little difference between them in my mind. So, um, the witchcraft store that I go to all the time just got this um Wednesday <laughs> I was there for a workshop and on Wednesday and they were setting it out while I was there and then Thursday I was there for another workshop I'm there a lot but that's that's a side tangent um I'm actually going to be doing a video on the shop because I love them um but Thursday I was like okay you know what I got paid today Let's get it. So I got it. It's like, it's honestly like when I saw it, I was like, yes, this is why I've been so picky because this is it. This is it. Look at her. She's just like, obviously like so confident feeling herself. She's just like in her element and it's just, uh, first of all, it's solid. It is solid brass and I love that. And it's just like, uh, I love it. Well, the camera focus. There we go. Um, I just, I just love it. I love it so much. So, new statue. I picked up another thing at the shop while I was there yesterday. I got this table, uh, this cute little table of the green man. I saw it the very first time I was there, um, which wasn't even like, it was their grand opening for their new location. It wasn't even like a shopping day. And I saw it and I was like, yes, I need this. I'm going to get this eventually. And every single time I've gone in, I'm like, should I get it today? And I've always like spent all my money on books instead. <laughs> but, but so t yesterday I went in and I was like, you know what? Today is the day. First of all, I always need more surface area, um, just in general, but especially my altar. It's very full aside from like my working area behind me but it's very full, so, like, creating double layers. But also, my dad worked with the Green Man a lot, and I grew up hearing about the Green Man. So, because we were, like, out in nature, he was very much all about plants and the forest, like, we lived in the woods of Massachusetts. So, I grew up hearing about the Green Man, and I thought he meant the green giant on the can of peas as a, as I was a kid. Um, but eventually I learned, <laughs> but so this just reminds me of my dad and it might find a home on my ancestor altar. Uh, but right now it's, um, on my regular altar to add a little extra space, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. Also, look, I finally found my different uh, sheets for my lights to change the colors. So we're nice and orangey land for Halloween for October. So, uh, yay. Let's get to the crafts. I'm really excited. I'm going to be making a scrying mirror. And I'm going to be making a little tarot card display. And Avocado wants to say hello. He was at my feet, like, crying for attention. Hello. 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 Avocado, I'm trying to do stuff. I'm trying to do stuff. Why do you want attention now? Will you let me do stuff? Okay. Let's get crafting.
We've got our scrying mirror. Look at it. I love it. It's got a nice gothic stand to it. We didn't even have to touch this at all. And we um, have a solid black inside so that you um, can just look for things and you don't see those weird bless this house Halloween version. <laughs> and this cute little tarot card holder. I'm so excited with how it came out. Look, it just, just fits right there. And I, um, I've got the sun and the star. I chose the sun and the star because if you have talked to me at any point in the last uh, six months, I have been pulling the sun and the star repeatedly. My son finally came after my tower situation. I've been getting these two since the tower and like God in light, you'll get through it. Bright sunny days ahead. So they've been, um, my God in light and my reminder this whole time. And my son finally came. So I, um, made a tarot card holder just for both of those. And I do, um, I think I'm going to pick up a couple more so that I can have like two and, um, like one sun, one star, maybe one moon if I get crazy. But for right now, this is good. So you'll probably maybe see this featured in some tarot unboxing videos. I'm just really happy with how these came out. I know the, the scrying mirror was very, very basic, but I still like, I didn't know if it would still, you know, turn out okay. But I'm really, really excited with how the tarot holder came out. I'm so excited to use that and I'll have more Halloween witchcrafting coming up in the coming weeks leading up to Halloween. So if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and leave a comment if you are so inclined to do so. They help the channel out so much. My social links are down in the description below. If you want to check me out on other social media, join our discord group and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful, magical day.